Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I know it's been weeks since I've posted anything, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, basically, we're uh, sanding down uh, the parts and trying to fit them and get uh, gaps uh, set. And currently I'm working on the front uh, with the headlights. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what we're doing here. So there we go, I got the uh, frunk lid on here. Um, so we've got a nice line there. We'll probably have to cut back on this a little bit, kind of round that out nicely. Um, it's around here good. A little bit of a high spot here we can take down. Um, but in general, and then obviously we have to kind of fix the gap size, but that's okay. So we'll settle on a standard gap size and we'll make a, uh, basically a tool to measure that gap as we go along. Um, or I can buy one from like Eastwood or something. So, but anyway, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Um, and then you can see where we came from, which was this side, which was all sorts of janky, big-ass gaps. Uh, not flush fitting here. Uh, gaps here, gap here. So all of that now has to get fixed on that side, um, along with getting all of this uh, kind of tailored in uh, down the line. And then making sure I can get kind of rid of this bump here so that's one of the other things we're going to work on is try to make that a smooth transition so anyway we'll see how that goes um but uh yeah i think that i'm satisfied with uh kind of the rough work so far that we've got done on here and uh next comes uh the other side and then we'll do the front fascia and then we have to do the front lid and then the engine cover uh, and rear end. So still got a lot of work to do, still got a lot of fitting to do and getting all the panels right. Um, the other thing that is good is I've been also working on the way the panels mount so that when I mount them back, they go back into the same place as when I took them off because you can do all of this work and then if you don't, if you're not able to uh, put them back exactly where they were, then you end up with uh, gaps again. So, and that's not something we want. This isn't too exciting, but uh, we've been working on this quarter panel, uh, trying to get the gaps just right. As you can see here on the door, we still need a little work here, but um, I'm making sure that the door clears and trying to make the gaps as tight as we can. Uh, but also still uh, have the door function and as you can see back here I think this one's a little wide so we'll be closing that in a little bit um, and then this one we have to refine up here which is getting better and better and then we've had to uh, do some carbon fiber and dura glass to uh, get this moved out a little bit so that we have nice clean uh, shot lines so you can see this curve going here. Now the real uh, Aventador, um, you can see that I have a curve to my door that's intentional. So the real Aventador is a straight line. So I decided to make that little design change. Um, I actually like it. So I'm going to keep it that way rather than straightening it out. Um, we've got the uh, these... Um, rocker panels and side panels uh, all melded together as I showed you in some previous videos and then we're going to get uh, this uh, edging which is aluminum right here on both the door and the uh, rocker so those will be the mating surfaces there which will make them look nice and straight uh, the <clears throat> uh, fender so this is the driver side fender uh, we've been working on getting it uh, tight with the uh, front valance or bumper and what I've really been concentrating on is getting the lines for this uh, uh, beautiful uh, real uh, headlight from Lamborghini, getting that fitted in uh, perfectly so you can kind of see the lines here where 
I still have a little bit of work to do, but you can see that the curves are starting to match nicely there. And then we're gonna have to kind of build out a little bit here, but then we've got nice gaps here and there. And then so I've pulled off the hood, which is over here, where I've been reinforcing with carbon fiber and Duraglass to try to get those edges so that I can match them up. Um, and then the other thing that I'm trying to do is as I sand and make these changes, you'll see that some of the carbon fiber is uh, kind of showing through. So I'll try to get a skim coat over the top of that so that that doesn't shine through uh, or transmit through uh, any paint. And then um, these panels sometimes have little, uh, had little bubbles in them uh, where the carbon fiber didn't uh, adhere properly to the plastic. So what I've done is I've uh, uh, injected epoxy in there and clamped it to be able to get those to settle down because we don't want those flapping around once we get all of these panels sanded down nice and clean. Hmm, sirens. Looks like my ride's here. Anyway, yeah, I am a little bit nuts, so you never know when they're going to come for me. Um, anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, uh, those of you who are uh, somewhat uh, anal about uh, getting gaps and stuff done, I'm sure will enjoy some of this work. Uh, the majority of you are like, hey, when's it going to be done? Uh, when are you going to spray it and get it on the road? I have no time schedule for that, so just going to keep plugging away at it, um, and you'll see the progress as we get to the point where I prime it, um, and then block sand the whole thing, and then we'll shoot it. Um, and then uh, I think it's uh, pretty much ready to go down to the uh, state trooper's office, but uh, I've said that before, so <laughs> anyway, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, anyway. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and we'll see you guys next time.